guys, how's it going? This is Fixer Mad, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the OnKey Tagger software to tag your preclinical lectures to the OnKing Step 1 and 2 deck using the OpenAI API system. Now, you might be wondering, what's the point of doing this? Um, it's just honestly to make sure you have as much of a comprehensive understanding of the material presented in your in-house lectures so you can excel on your in-house quizzes and in-house exams and just get a solid grasp of everything that might be missing from the um, certain subsections of first aid on Anki that are presented in your preclinical lecture but might not be in the same organ block location or the same discipline location in first aid. I've seen that happen with some unit blocks in neuro, respi, cardio, palm, renal, etc. So just a way to double check over and get like a list of everything you need to know. I will say this is one of the most advanced tutorials I'll probably do on this channel since I've always wanted to figure out how to use this software. Um, the written instructions are not the best on the GitHub page so I never figured out how to do it until today. And the only problem with the software right now is the uh, auto tagger system doesn't seem to be functioning properly due to a Anki update so I hope that's taken care of in the future. Um, I'll be working on finding the late or the older version of Anki where this was possible to just tag to the lecture automatically after creating the list but it will generate uh, the list of tags you will need for lectures so that's the good thing going so just a fair warning right now it's not a perfect system yet as you can tell from the written instructions and everything on the github page it's not the best so i'll be here to help you guys out as much as i can so for this tutorial you're going to need a windows mac or linux computer with python installed on it uh, you're going to need the on king step one and two deck if you don't have it watch my previous video on how to get on king version 12 through Anki Collab and or you could get through Anki Hub either way it works um, yeah let's get started so first things first uh, go on OpenAI log into your account go to API go into your API keys uh, find one of your secret keys create a new one if necessary create the key um, I'm not going to do this right now since I already have my key saved. I'm going to go on terminal. The first thing I like doing to avoid any errors is just export open AI API key equals whatever the open AI key is and enter it in. Do not put much effort into it. Just copy this template, export open AI API key equals whatever the key that the, uh, secret key generates for you now i'm done with open ai i'm going to close it um go download the anki tiger software itself i just like going ahead and downloading it onto my desktop but whatever location you want to download it in perfectly fine by me so it's in the desktop so go to the terminal hit cd hit that sh hit that little squiggly line next to your one key i don't know where it is on the other keyboards that are not max but it's like this little squiggly sign hit desktop on key tagger main just make sure you change it to the drive where your on key tagger main file is excellent go ahead and pop open on key you're gonna need to export your deck twice once is an apkg and once is a notes file. So I'm gonna go ahead and export the APKG into my Anki Tagger main file. So just rename it to Anki underscore deck. If you wanna follow along with the video, you can name it whatever you want as long as you change the name in the terminal. It's not a big deal.
Fantastic. Now go ahead and start your second export of the deck. Make sure you hit include unique identifier. That's very important. If you don't, it might completely mess up the procedure. I think you can leave these two checked and leave these two unchecked. Let's name it on key. If you want to follow along with the video as usual. Exported. Sweet. Now for this next procedure, you're going to have to hit Python 3. If you install Python 3, if you install Python 2, you just hit Python. So I installed Python 3, so I'm going to hit Python 3. Embed on key deck.py on key.txt. This will create the embed file. You guys will hit enter and you guys will see a screen like this pop up where it's basically calculate, it's like gonna be right below this, calculating embeddings, and it's gonna be like 0%. It's gonna be like one out of 29,285 notes. It's gonna take about an hour and 30 minutes. So you guys can go ahead and do that now. Pause the video if necessary, come back to it later. And I have already done this procedure for the sake of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and keep continuing because I don't want to hold it up for anyone embeddings it should be this file it should literally say Anki embeddings.csv and it's just gonna be printed here for you guys so now that that's there I'm gonna go ahead and delete that all sweet um, now you're also going to need a learning objective guide in the PDF format so what I like doing is I just like going through my lecture notes, uh, copy pasting the learning objectives in Times New Roman format in a Google Drive file. And then I hit file, save as, save as PDF, name it learning underscore guide dot PDF. Make sure it's in your Anki tagger folder. And I am gonna go ahead and make the learning objectives this shouldn't take as long but it is still it is still kind of kind of time consuming the whole procedure is a little time consuming but once you do it the first time it really does pay off dividends you can see it's creating the learning objectives as we speak uh, i believe it's going to sift through thirty thousand cards got nine learning objectives fantastic we can work with that then i'm gonna go here hit the next set of code python 3 select underscore cards dot py deck embedding it's actually that would actually be on key embeddings dot csv and this would just be better off learning, naming it on key learning objectives dot CSV learning objectives dot CSV. Enter. It should create a file called onkeycards.csv. It's going to go through the first learning objective. This is also a pretty time consuming process, but it's not as badly as time consuming. So I'm just going to let it play out so you can see how long it should take. I think as AI improves in the future, it's going to be more time efficient for many people involved best way to do this is probably to get with a group of friends to be like hey let's all put five dollars in open ai run through this program get our onkeys tagged and let's crush this test second objective is done so about like 30 seconds in objective not too bad and most lectures have what 10 learning objectives so it should take about five minutes hopefully depending on how open ai servers are doing and you guys probably have better internet than me at home so not too bad
fair warning though, the next step is kind of a doozy since the current version of Anki doesn't play nice with the Anki Tagger software. So it's a bit of a drag.
All right, as you can see, all nine objectives are done now. The program is just finalizing any corrections. I'm telling you, this was probably the most painful 12 hours of my life, but hey, if someone had to make a video guide on this, it had to be me, I suppose, so I take great pride in this. Sweet, the process is now completely done. We should have the Anki cards that are necessary for the tagging procedure. And in all honesty, if you're fine with just manually tagging the cards yourself from this list, you're completely set. So if you just name the tag your lecture name and then go through and search, if you just copy and paste this and go to Anki, Click browse. Let me go back to on King. Go ahead and very interesting. So apparently, some of the cards created are not exactly from on King. Uh, I don't think that's true. Well, let's see. I think it could just be the formatting. So let's go through. Ratio is the ratio of alveolar ventilation. Should be here. The C1. There it is. Yeah, I don't know why it's not giving me the exact match to the card, but it's, it's all here. If you just go through and type up the cards, you should be able to find the majority of them just here. Now that gets me to my most painful part of the video, the tagging system. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Go back to your terminal, hit Python 3 tag deck.py on key cards.csv on key deck.apkg. You would think that this would be enough to tag the deck. But from what I've seen, it didn't work for me and it didn't work this time either because when you go through your collection, you don't have the Anki 21 file. You get an Anki 21B file this time in your temp folder. When you scroll all the way down, you get a collection.anki 21B folder. There is a fix to that to get the Anki 21 file, but I don't know how effective it is for everyone. Mixer Med from the future. Um, as I continue recording, I just ran into more and more problems while trying to make the file to convert the Anki 21B file to the Anki 21 file that is necessary for the program to run. I tried editing the program. I tried everything. I got to the point where I just looked up documentation and just tried writing up my own file to get the Anki 21 file for the Onking deck. Um, it's not perfect. It does work for now. It's not the best fix, but it is a fix. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this up a little bit more, save it. Um, if you guys can type this in a text file and save it as Anki21b.py, save it in your temporary folder, just drop it in there. Uh, you should be good to run the rest of the program. Because you, you do need an Anki 21 file, but it's just not available with the 
code that was presented to us in the GitHub page, and there does not seem to be any troubleshooting help there. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's in my temporary folder now, Anki21b.py. I changed the directory to the temp folder by using this command CD, squiggly line, desktop, Anki tagger, main, temp folder. I'm gonna just go ahead and run Anki21b.py. I created the file collection.anki21 that was missing. I had two 21B and now I have 21. And now I should be good to go ahead and tag the rest of the deck. It's a very long convoluted procedure, but it does pay dividends. I, I think you can just manually tag. I feel like it would be better for folks to just manually tag it after getting the uh, list of learning objectives that are pertinent to the lecture. Uh, that's right, I need to change back to the directory. Sorry about that guys, don't, don't ignore that step. It's been a very long tutorial. I'm not an expert in computer science yet. Wish I was, but I'm not. Go ahead and just repaste that in here. It should tag it up for you. And of course, I spelled APKG wrong. So that should be the final fix. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of trouble when you do this for the first time, but practice makes perfect. And I'll be here to help anyone that has any issues with the software. I was struggling running the software as I was making the tutorial. I knew I needed to get one out there, but not many people have made tutorials on this yet. So I, ha I knew I had to get it out there because I knew it would help a lot of students. Let's just wait for this to be done. I think it's about 165 cards will get tagged that are pertinent. I don't know how it got 165. I need to troubleshoot the Anki 21B to 21 process. Okay, it's 169. Process is complete. Uh, you can go ahead, close out of everything, import your Anki deck back. You can just click the Anki deck itself in the Anki tagger folder. You are good to go. The tag should be in there. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, etc. Be sure to leave them in the comments below. Uh, this is Fixer Med signing off. It's been a really long day, guys. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound tired, but it is a very tiring, cumbersome process to go through, especially with how little documentation there is of the software. Anyways, see you guys soon. As always, if you have any future recommendations for videos, leave them down below. Farewell, guys.